Good morning, movers. Welcome back to Move Daily Fitness. It's Tracy Steen. Your workout today is gonna to be a total body compound workout. The format is this. We're gonna do that three repeater. So we'll take one exercise, repeat it for three rounds at 30 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest, and then move on to the next exercise. You're gonna require a variety of dumbbells for the workout today, so grab those. That's all you'll need, and we'll start you with a warm up and end with a cool down. All right, ready to move daily? Me too, let's do it. All right, traditional strength. You could do functional strength. Either or, on the watch, let's warm things up. I'm gonna start with a nice low squat. Reach and then up to tiptoes here. Warm those calves up. Last one here. Good, and some front kicks. Same side for 10. Last one on this side, and switch, and 10. Nice, and let's go into some open doors. Up, open, and drop. Get that ball and socket nice and warmed. If I can keep my balance here. <laughs> I've been practicing balance. I should be better. <laughs> but nope. Oh, goodness. Keep it going. Do as I say, not as I do. <laughs> okay, that's enough of those. Let's take it wide and touch your toes. This one we can do. Two more here. And stay in this position. We're gonna do a side to side lunge. Reach your hips back here. Lengthening in through that inner thigh. And you can drop the opposite shoulder toward the opposite knee here. Very nice. Let's turn into a static lunge. Little pelvic tilt and drop for 10 aside. Just stretching through that back hip flexor here. Go nice and slow. Two more here. Good, and switch. Tilt and drop. Let's go into some arm circles here. And switch direction. And let's take those arms, one behind the head, one behind the back, and alternate here. Last one here. Good, and tap across. And up and over. And let's finish right here. Draw that elbow across. Lengthening through that middle back. Very 
Very good. All right, one exercise. Three rounds right in a row. Feel free to progressively overload those weights if you want. Here we go. I'm gonna start with those 12 pound dumbbells, my reverse lunge hammer curl, alternating my lunge and curling at the top. Nice and tall. We drop it low and curl right there. Very good. Okay, a little rest for 10 seconds, right back into the same exercise. Shoulders back, stay tall, and drop. Last one. Shoulders back and drop. Now sometimes I'm gonna split the sides and do a full 30 on one side, a full 30 on the other. And I think we'll hit four rounds instead of the three, okay? Just to make it even, we'll start that with our side lunge coming up. All right, I'm grabbing a 10. A full 30 seconds on this side. We'll side lunge, overhead press. So we reach and press, reach and press. Good. Think of this hip reaching back. Step, switch your hands, and now it's this way. All right, let's work. You can bring the knee up or tap if you feel like you're too tippy. I'm trying to work on my balance, so I'm gonna bring the knee up. <laughs> Make it more challenging for my core as well. Step, switch hands. One more each side, okay? And start. Switching sides, last one here. Lunge and press. Grabbing my 15 for the plie skull crusher. Everything's up, everything's down. Wide stance here. And we drop, 
press and flex. You can feel free to hold the dumbbell the other direction, like a different, like how I would normally do a skull crusher lengthwise. I like it this way for me, but do what's safest for you. Or of course you could hold two lighter dumbbells in your hands. All right, there's your rest. Whew, okay, heart rate's climbing. Everything is up, everything is down. Drop it low, press and flex. out. Knees are over the toes. Very nice. Holding my 12s for the ISO hold curl press. We'll do four sets here. This one's holding, this one's working. So we curl, press. Don't let this holding arm dip below that 90 degrees, right? Keep it there the whole 30 seconds. Ah, good. Rest for two seconds here. Well, 10 seconds. Doesn't feel like 10 though, does it? <laughs> Other arms holding. We're working. So we lift, turn. Feels like just enough time to get one deep breath. Not to put them down even. Keep those elbows in. both down there for a second. Switching arms and hold it here. These 12s are adding up for me. Last one here, then we'll move into legs. Give the arms a break. Iso hold here, and let's curl. Going into that deadlift front squat, I'm holding 15s. Deadlift first, hinge forward. You hinge, then you pop it up into that front squat and drop. Power up. Deadlift, back is flat. Squat. Nice.
and rest. Whew, doing well. Round two and deadlift here. Okay, one more, then a quick water break, and then we're taking it to the ground for a few exercises down there. Pinch forward, reach. Pop and drop. Nice. All right, I'm bringing those 15s down to the ground. Grab some water, pause if you need a longer break, and we'll make our way down to the ground next. All right, I'm bringing 20s down here, and I'm also bringing my 8s down here. So I've got 15s, 8s, and 20s. Just get the variety, take a look at the screen, that's what's coming up. We're starting on our backs. All right, starting with my 20s. I'm gonna go right into that wide, narrow chest press. And here we go. So wide, turn, narrow, adding that glute bridge so everything is up, everything is down. Make sure those wrists are locked and neutral here, all right? I don't want to get carpal tunnel. Very nice, and just rest those in your hips or somewhere close. <laughs> Round two, ready, wide, turn, narrow, back to wide at the bottom. Okay, one more here. I don't think I'm gonna rest my dumbbells. That's just too hard to get them back into place. I'm just holding them here. Ready, round three, and we're up and squeeze. Last 10 seconds. Then I'm going into that full sit up with the front press and I'll hold my eight. All right, boom. Just one eight. Okay, full sit up, front press here. And we're up and push. Nice. Of course, you could just do a crunch if you can't do the full sit up there, okay? Otherwise, round two. Here we go. And we sit and push. Shoulders are low, away from the ears on that push.
And one more here. Whew. And I'll grab those 15s for my tricep press flutter kick. And we're up and push. Very nice. All right, holding 15s. Tricep press with the flutter kick. Eliminate the flutter if you need. Palms facing, and we press and flutter the legs. Think of pushing that lower back into the ground. And rest. Round two. I'm sticking with 15s. Palms facing, elbows close to the sides. And push. And rest, one more here. Then we'll move into that side plank press. All right, flutter and push. Coming up on that side plank, I'll hold my eight pound dumbbell and we'll do four sets. Okay, 30 seconds per side. Very nice. Oh, Nelly. All right, side plank. Elbow is into your side and pressing right here and push. Good. Now modify this from your knee, okay, or bring a leg in front right here. I think I'll just stay there. <laughs> nice and controlled. Just using the shoulder to push that weight up. Just a bit of a different angle than we're used to with the push action for shoulders. Good, switch sides. I liked it, it was good. All right, other side. Mod if you'd like. And pop to plank. You're low and push. Ten seconds. Very nice. Switching sides again. Whew, that arm holding my body weight up. Ready? Round three, press. And one more on the other side to even things out here. Get ready. And plank a push here. Good.
I'll be holding those 15s for my Tate press with the frog glute thrust coming up. Mm. Okay, 15s into the Tate. Feet together, knees are open. All right, everything is down to the chest and press. Low and press. Very nice, rest. Feet are touching, knees fall out to the side, eliminate legs if you need. All right, everything is up. And bring it down and press. Slow and controlled and press. Flex the triceps at the top. Good, rest. Last one here. And stay down here for one more exercise, that crab toe touch. Everything is down and up. Keep those wrists neutral, don't let them fall back. Okay, even though you're bending sideways at the wrist. Good, 10 seconds. Last one here. Very good. Okay, crab toe touch. You can stay on your back and just hit this one here if you'd like. Otherwise, full sit up and alternating tap. Lay it back, other side tap. Good. Little inner thigh, little ab, little shoulder here. Rest. Uh, okay, round two. Oh, my arms are killing. Ready, here we go. I did an arm day yesterday, so <laughs> I'm like, what can I do today that will give me a little bit but not overdo it? But that, that's that last circuit right there <laughs> got me good. One more. <sighs> then I'll give you a little bit more time to stand up and get organized. Ready, up, and tap. Very nice, okay. I'll give you a full 30 to stand up. Make sure you're not dizzy, grab some water. Okay, and then join me back. Moving into your squat thrusts. I'm gonna hold 12s here. Three rounds of squat thrusts. Feet are shoulder width apart. Stick your chest out and drop it low and drive, good. Ooh. 
switch weights if you'd like. I think I'll stick with 12s. Round two. Let's go. Drop it here. Drive. Grabbing my 15s for that suitcase squat, reverse deadlift. Hit that squat first, then the hips hinge. So you're here, hips and stand. Suitcase squat first, bring weights to the front and stand. Back stays super flat. Squat to start, drop it low, hinge and stand. One more here, folks. Doing well. Let's finish strong. Stay tall and drop. Keep your chest up and your chin up on that squat. Almost there, last 10 seconds. Push, very nice. Let's go for three, two, one and done. You move daily in your full body compound. We hit everything today. Good job, folks. Join me for a stretch if you can. Whew. Nice work, let's take it to the ground. I'm gonna hug those knees here. Just little circles on the back. We'll give a good little stretch out here. We've shortened the muscles and contracted the muscles, and now we want to lengthen them back out. Let's stretch here. Knee is soft, pulling that shin toward you. I just did a little series um, for our Limber Life Mobility Program. I think by the time you see this video, it will be out, so you can check the description below, switch legs. And we did some PNF stretching, proprioceptive neuromuscular facilitation, which in essence helps to create more elasticity in muscles. So a lot of you are probably really tight in the hamstrings. Let's go into a glute stretch, or maybe in the glutes, maybe in the pectoral minor or major muscles here up in the pecs in the front. So PNF stretching is a wonderful technique that in essence allows you to increase that elasticity and flexibility within the muscle. Switch sides. And if done regularly, it can be super beneficial to your whole limber life. <laughs> uh, so you can do it with a towel, a rope, uh, anything that you have that basically puts counter pressure on. When, you know, I've talked about this before that let's let those legs fall to one side. 
arms are open and shoulders are on the ground. Then when you walk through a door frame, you can put one arm on each side of the door and push your chest through and you push against the, the door frame and do that sort of counter push pull. And as you do that, um, you, you count for 10 seconds, you hold it for 10 seconds, and then you relax everything, legs the other way, and you are able to increase the, the stretch because of that counter push pull action previous. Um, and it just activates more muscle fibers and then it just allows you to lengthen through and create more elasticity in the muscle. It's uncanny, really, like you'll do it and then you're like, I can't be more flexible than this. And then all of a sudden the hamstring is like, boink. <laughs> it's just wonderful. Anyway, good technique. I have a little stretching protocol for that um, within this limber life. So if you feel like you need to become more limber, let's stretch right here. Push the chest to the ground and increase your flexibility, stability, balance. Um, we're working on all of those things within that program. Let's come up into cat and cow. Up, 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 and drop the chest, lift the chin. I feel like as we age, you can never do enough of that practice in those areas. Drop the chest, lift the chin. Let's take that arm and tuck it under here. Sometimes I think it's, we bypass those little things that are really actually important to practice. And as the old adage goes, if you don't use it, you lose it. You know this, I know this. And then sometimes I forget to do the things <laughs> that I know are gonna be really beneficial. Anyway, that's why I created the program because I don't wanna forget to do those things. I know they're essential and so ergo, I just, I'm gonna do them myself. <laughs> I created a program so that it forced me to do them. So if you also need to work on those things, stability, balance, um, mobility, flexibility, then that might be a good program for you. It's just short little sequences, like the PNF stretching I think is like six, seven or eight minutes long, somewhere in that range. Usually it's about anywhere between five and 12 minutes a day type of thing. So yeah, check that out, check out the links below or I'll put a tag or a card right there as well. All right, thanks for joining. See you in the next workout.